I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> this, oh my god. What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be checking out 10 AEW superstars that appeared in WWE. Uh, you know, sometimes they appear as crew people, security. I mean, you can see them in backstage segments. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, or or squ even squash matches. The, the wrestling industry is very, very huge where a lot of wrestlers appear on many different shows. Uh, one man that I know specifically that appeared in or two, two, not even AEW, uh, EC3, but in AEW right now is the biggest superstar of them all, MJF. Uh, but I mean, we get a lot of these transfer overs, these crossovers. Uh, for example, right now we had Daniel Bryan go over to AEW, Edge go over to AEW, Moxley go over to AEW. Um, Jade Cargill went to WWE. There's just a lot of familiar faces that uh, switch up. And today we're going to be checking out 10 AEW superstars that appeared in WWE. So stay tuned. All right, let's get into this shit, guys. MJF, the Young Bucks, Max Caster, and Jack Perry are just some of the AEW wrestlers 99% of fans don't know appeared in WWE. Damn, and I guarantee I didn't know. there's one wrestler in this video you had no idea wrestled in a WWE ring. After roughly 10 years away from WWE, Bobby Lashley returned in April 2018. Yeah. Shortly thereafter, Bobby Lashley nasty. had a few with Sami Zayn. During this time, Zayn would try to get under Bobby's skin by mocking Lashley's family. On an episode of Raw, Sami had three men pretend to be the Almighty Sisters. One of the sisters, Francis was bro the acclaimed Max Caster. Bro, I carried my helmet. Bro, that's Ma bro. Max because was in Bobby WWE. Would take his knuckle and he would hit me on the top of my head as hard as he could. If you told me this guy would have been one of the best wrestlers on the mic, yep. I would have told they were, you they're hot, crazy. man. They no filter. I ain't Instagram. We make the ass poison. Pause. Pa re. Big pause. You know what I meant. Let's just keep going. Bobby Lashley ended up clearing house and gave Max a good bump on the noggin. However, Max Caster isn't the only member of the acclaimed that appeared in WWE. In late 2016, Anthony Bowens wrestled on NXT really? in a tag team match. Bowens' opponents were Akam and Razar, the authors of Pain. Damn, so the, the claimed were AEW. I mean, the claimed were, were WWE at one point. On his head. Thankfully, the future AEW trios champion was okay, but did end up losing the match. Julia Hart has slowly you know, become though, one of the... You know, though... I'm not going to lie with you, right? The authors of pain, WWE is really fumbling the bag with these boys because they could be so much better if they had a good-ass storyline hey, to did them. end up losing the match. Julia Hart has slowly become one of the biggest female yeah. stars in AEW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like her with the House of Black. She was pretty much unknown before signing with All Elite Wrestling. However, when you see how ahead of the game she was, it's not mm. as surprising. At the age of 18, Julia was already being noticed by WWE. As part of a sponsorship deal with KFC, WWE, quote, held a contest where four lucky fans would get to watch a Raw Tag Team Championship match ringside. In actuality, there was no contest, and the four fans were extras WWE brought in. This is apparent as one of the fans was That's actually AEW hilarious. TBS champion Julia Hart, who literally had just competed in her first wrestling match three weeks before appearing in WWE. Also, if you're curious, and wow. I know you are, the man sitting next to Julia is not her husband. This is Julia Hart's husband. Another female wrestler who's made a name for herself in AEW is Britt Baker. However, unlike yeah. Julia, Baker has wrestled in WWE. Really? The surgeon appeared on Raw. Do they fumble? the bag with Britt Baker after she started wrestling. Baker wasn't even given a name as she was squashed figuratively and literally by Nia Jax. Come on. Man. And the exclamation point. Ironically, two years they really later, did her like that. Baker would be put in a match against Nia Jax's future tag team partner. Baker returned to WWE in October 2018 and competed oh, so against she was, Baszler. She was this in NXT, time, for real, for real. Name announced, but an entrance too. However, the match would go much the same, with the referee ending the match. A squash match? You see what I'm saying, guys? Hand. 
You might not expect it, but talent, the executive bro. vice presidents of AEW, the Young Bucks, have appeared and even wrestled in WWE. The older Buck, Matt Jackson, was the first to appear when he fought Chuck Palumbo Damn. on the February 2008 episode of Way Spider back then. The match lasted about two minutes and was completely one-sided. Matt Jackson would return, but it arguably went worse than his first WWE match. In October 2008, Big Show was getting ready to fight in a match against The Undertaker. Fans got to vote whether the match would be a knockout okay, match, Cyber Sunday. a quit match, or a last man standing match. Dude, I love these. Bro. Bro, match types, bro, bro, bro. Listen, if okay, so you know WWE's having. Hear me out, guys. I I don't give good. I, hey, I don't I don't give good ideas for free WWE, but I would bring this shit back when they had the Netflix when they have that Netflix deal going on. I think it's next year that they're supposed to be on Netflix, bro. If they were to have this and you can vote from Netflix, that's all I'm gonna say. Or a That's all I'm gonna say. That'd be a to demonstrate all dude, three match types. The big the show best thing. Men in a gauntlet match. The last man out was AEW EVP Matt Jackson. Jackson got chopped by the world's largest athlete before being choke slammed through a table. Damn. And needless to say, he They're lost. Just him. squashing them However, though. However, Matt Jackson would make one more appearance in WWE, and this time he had his brother and fellow young buck alongside him. During the same month, the Big Show beat up Matt Jackson. The Miz and John Morrison were beefing with D Generation X. The dirt cheek duo had some fun at. Shawn Michaels and Triple H's expense by having two impersonators come out. The men pretend to be HBK. Wow, and they were the young bucks. Of course, the young wow. Bucks. Actually, uh, it's more of a question. Are you ready? I said. Oh, you Even ready? Was in a match, the segment still. Wow, that is actually pretty funny. On the mat. And I would, I would have been making dude, I would have. and not. Always it's crazy how things evolve. Cause I really would have loved to see a young buck, D Generation X match. But we'll, we'll never get that. So. It's for the best reasons. This However, guy. years before all that, Perry was appearing on. Hey, free my boy CM Punk, Punk man. Twelve during the Tills and Nine SummerSlam. He did CM Punk dirty, bro. Jack Perry really did CM Punk dirty. But, uh... <sighs> CM Punk's in WWE now, though. Yes, sir! Jack Perry was yes, in attendance sir. with his father, legendary actor Luke Perry. Ironically, CM Punk was in the main event of that show. Little did fans know that 14 years later, CM Punk was going to choke that kid. In April 2024, John Moxley defended his IWGP world title in okay. the main event of Dynamite against Powerhouse Hobbs. Dude, However, this is not I the fuck first with time Powerhouse Hobbs, wrestlers bro. wrestlers had crossed paths. Over five years earlier, back when John Moxley was called Dean Ambrose and working for WWE, the lunatic fringe was feuding with Seth Rollins. John okay. Ambrose Dean Moxley wanted to protect himself from Rollins' illness and brought out a mass SWAT team with him. Instead of fighting him, Powerhouse Hobbs was there to protect his future AEW opponent as he was one of the guards. Rollins eventually ran in and took out the SWAT team one by one, including Powerhouse Hobbs. Now this is wait, kind wait, of wait, 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 in wait. hindsight. Until Let me see Hobbs. Took out the SWAT team Hobbs was built one, up back then? Including Powerhouse Hobbs. Ah, uh, Hobbs was still kind of big. This Hobbs was kind of ironic. Hobbs was still kind of jacked. In 2012, Daniel Bryan and Kane were involved in a storyline where they had to attend Anger Management. I love this storyline. This led to love the iconic this Team Hell No. In the classes, one of the other students was a man named Harold. Hey, come on, guys. Let's just take it easy. Shut up, Harold! Oh, is that what's his name? Uh, Scorp Harold, Scorpion Sky. Scorpio wrestler, Sky, Scorpio yeah. Sky. Despite appearing in a non-wrestling role, Scorpio would still take a bump. It's crazy. <sighs> it's crazy okay, that these I people are just extras. And we look at them as no Even nobody at the time. Be, Scorpio Sky is actually banned from the company. A few months after these appearances, really? Scorpio Sky made anti-gay social media posts that he has some uh, for. After this happened, he, he, he fucked himself. said they had no plans to work with him in the future. In 2024, he himself, Ricky yeah. Starks will have been with AEW for four years. The Absolute has built up an impressive I do remember Ricky Star Starks seeing this, seeing this clip on like has Instagram been longer than his one of Ricky in all Starks. Of wrestling. Starks' first appearance in WWE was on a 2012 episode of SmackDown where he competed in a 2 one hand Handicap match against Jinder Mahal. Starks it's crazy how skinny he is, bro. Like that minute. dude looks Starks like he don't put on no weight. When he is bullied by Ryback, I remember this. This is the clip I saw with Ryback. Table. After this, Starks would have three more matches in WWE, with his final match being against future AEW yeah. workers Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson on Raw in 2018. Uh -huh. The future AEW World Tag Team Champion would even get in the ring with Kane during his WWE tenure. Damn! So he had a lot of matches in WWE. What 
power. Maxwell Jacob Friedman has arguably become the biggest the star fucking in goat, EW bro. that hadn't wrestled for a major company prior to becoming All Elite. However, that doesn't mean that MJF didn't try. In MJF is the definition of the best heel in current wrestling. Listen, Roman Reigns is a phenomenal heel. He's a, a really, really, really good wrestler, the best superstar in WWE. But when it comes to being fucking hated, MJF is on the top of the totem pole. And I've seen like him doing signings for, for fans. And, dude, he's giving it to them. And, and that's what I like. Like, he stays in that character, and he's beyond hated. I, I I fucking love him, honestly. He's the best wrestler. Like, in my opinion, he is the best professional wrestler right now when it comes to building his character and, and carrying the personality. But uh, I kind of want to see him go to WWE. I'm not going to lie to you. I... I love, I like, hey, I kind of want to see him go to WWE, see what he can do. He got a storyline waiting just for him and CM Punk. And I was there at Revolution. That was chef's kiss right there. That was a banger. In 2015, WWE brought back its reality TV series Tough Enough and was searching for its next big star. The show had open auditions and anyone was allowed to submit a video and share why they were tough enough. Guess who did just that? The question isn't if I'm tough enough. No. The question is, are you smart enough to know in the future of your company Damn, he is got jacked you dead in the face? So like, for MJF now. MJF would not get chosen for tough enough, but MJF's rub with WWE didn't end there. Almost a year later, yeah, WWE I remember hosted that story a show line. in Brooklyn, New York, less than an hour from MJF's hometown. Samoa Joe was defending the NXT Championship in the main event, and while walking backstage, this happened. Yes, a 20-year-old MGF I remember that. got shoved by Samoa Joe. I remember that. Did we ever, and then later, they, both they beef, yeah. Both MGF and Samoa Joe would be part of AEW, and they recreated the spot. Joe even wore the exact same ring attire. However, MGF had the last laugh, as if he had Joe two weeks later. Sasha Banks, or Mercedes Monet, actually appeared in WB as a teenager. To see the clip, watch the video on uh, screen. Uh, yeah. Well, a, well, guys, it's actually crazy to see that these these people were extras they're nobodies and and it's it's just bringing me like now how many people have we really seen that have become these big names and then how many people will we continue to see uh, i mean you don't have there could be an extra tomorrow that's going to be a superstar the next day I, I just think it's really cool to see how these people started you know mjf security guard I mean, things like that. Like, you could be, it could be, I mean, Matt, the, the Young Bucks, impersonators. They could be anybody. Just one day and the next day they're wrestling on a billion dollar company. You know what I'm saying? And they, they're the, the hottest stars out there. Uh, I think this was really cool. I, I really enjoyed this video from Tap Out Corner. I, I, I definitely did. And... It's it's really eye opening to see these these people and how they start and I, I think it's dope honestly, uh, well uh, that's I'm gonna wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.